Today we will be making snickerdoodles. Snickerdoodles are a type of molded cookie. So what did we do with our hands, Jade? Wash them for 20 seconds. Perfect. And we took out all our equipment and hopefully all our ingredients. So this is take two. Last night we tried to do it. We had quite a few mistakes, so we're going to go with it one more time. All right. So our first ingredient is a half stick of margarine. Now we made a mistake already. Butter. Actually, a half cup of margarine or butter, which is one stick. So we already have that here. In school, we're going to use margarine, but at home, we're going to use butter. Okay, I would always tend to use uh, butter if you have it available because it just gives the cookie a better flavor. We tend to use margarine in school because it is less expensive. So we're just gonna put the butter over there because all we have to really do is open it. Our second ingredient is sugar. So Jake's gonna measure the sugar and he's gonna measure three quarters of a cup of sugar. So I'm gonna give him wax paper. I'll help you with that so it doesn't go all over. Okay, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna that right there and you're going to put this in there three times and then you're going to level it off and I'm going to give you a piece of wax paper to put it on. You got you to level it off remember right? You can level, level it off part. here or you can level it off over there. The then you're going to put the measured ingredients back here. Remember? Do it nice. Okay and then while Jake's doing that you're going to put that there. I'm going to crack one egg in a custard bowl. So last night, my phone, right, mm -hmm. kept running out of storage space, so we did it a few times, and then I had to delete a bunch of different things, so tonight we're hoping what we have to do is do this once. So that's twice, so that's a half cup, but it calls for three quarters of a cup, so he's using a quarter cup three times. I've cracked my egg in my custard bowl, and I'm going to place that right over here too. So let's bring it maybe so they can see three times. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to put this over here. And we're going to take, I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to take and put all the extra stuff back in. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start sifting the flour. Would you like to sift flour? I've told Jake he can't keep putting his hands in his mouth and wiping his nose because that's not really good sanitation. remember what this is called, Jay? It's a sifter. It's a sifter. And what a sifter does is it incorporates air into the flour and makes it fluffier. So with this recipe, it calls for one and a quarter cups plus three tablespoons. Can so you put it in? What you have to do is sift a bunch of flour first, and then we're going to lightly spoon and measure. So I'm going to put a bunch of flour through and help them over here. you got to stop it though, please. Wait, don't do anything until I tell you to. Don't do anything until I tell you to. Okay, sift it. I'm going to do it nice, though, Jay. You can lift it up just a little. Oh, so you could, yeah. I want to. Okay, well, you're squishing it off. You have to lift it up a little. Keep it all in the wax paper, then. And then you see how it's all inside? You're going to tap it a little, too. Okay, go ahead. And we're going to put more through. So move it over to the left. Put it back down because I'm going to put more in. Let's make it fluffy. Earth. Okay. okay. So you're going to do the same thing right there. You're going to try to fix your apron because mommy Can I forgot. Do that right here? That's fine. Mommy forgot the blue aprons in school, or Mrs. Sauer forgot the blue aprons. This time she remembered her camera clipper but forgot the apron. So I had to go out and buy aprons. and. Fortunately, I chose the wrong color because black shows everything that we're using, right? The flower getting all over. Oh, well. Oh, I'm not supposed to do that, but we're going to go with it, Jake. No, 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 There's nothing you could do. Okay, so that's our timer telling us that our oven has been preheated. Okay, so now you have to measure one cup quarter cup, so just wait a second, and then three tablespoons. So I'm going to give you another piece of wax paper. Just wait a second, please. 
You're going to put the measure. No, 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 no. So that's what I tell the kids all the time. You need to lightly spoon and level off. So now you're going to take spoon? this. Let me show you and show the students. You're going to lightly spoon into this cup, and then you're going to level off, and you're going to place it over there. So lightly spoon and level off. And while Jake does that, I'm going to measure the baking soda. So baking soda is 11 and 8. You're not so, you just made it nice and fluffy. You're not supposed to press it down like that, Jake. Oh. Jake. Okay, lightly spoon and level off. Three of these? No, one of those. And Keep it over a little. Now take your leveler, level it off. On that piece of wax paper, do it nice because it'll get all over the place. Just do it quick and, and there you go, you're good. Okay, so that's one cup. Now you need to do a quarter cup. Okay. Just do it like that, you're okay. Just lightly spoon it now. And I'm going to try to do the baking soda. What do you mean, try? So like I was saying, I think I was saying, is that baking soda is a leavening agent. It's going to help these cookies rise. And do a quarter cup, and I'm going to measure, it yes, a half teaspoon, and I'm going to need to take that leveler from you, but you actually need this, Jake. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought I had another set of measuring. So I'm going to level off. So I have two pieces of wax paper here, so I need the leveler. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on the piece of wax paper, and now Jake... I'm going to get this back into the container. Now, Jake is going to measure three tablespoons. Let's actually take it right off. Take it? No, that's one and a half tablespoons. So you're going to do this. So oh now God. you don't have to lightly spoon. Okay. So now you can do that three times, and then you're going to level off and put it over there. So you did one cup. You have to level off, though. Okay. Do it nice. Do it slow. Make sure nice and even. One. Two, one more time. That's okay. So now I'm going to take what? Maybe we shouldn't be wiping it on the aprons. Hey, or on my apron. Okay. What ingredient is after the baking soda? Can you read it? where it says baking soda. One teaspoon, can you read that? One teaspoon of baking soda. We already said baking I mean soda, John. No? One cream teaspoon. Cream of tartar. Tartar, cream of tartar. So this, we don't have a lot of, so I'm going to have you pour it. Oh. I'm going to pour it into the measuring cup. So cream of tartar is, again, another leavening agent. Uh, I believe you can substitute cream of tartar for baking powder, but I would uh, look into that. I don't know the amounts and uh, the equivalents to that off the top of my head. So cream of tartar, we got one teaspoon. Nope, that's a half teaspoon. So we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. That's very small. And you never use big amounts of this. So what you're going to do is you're going to slowly, how about you hold this and I no, pour No, I'll it. do it. Okay, but I don't want you to pour all of it. So I'm going to do that. You're going to hold the spoon and you're going to level off. I can do that. Okay, but I don't need it from another recipe. Okay, so now what you're going to do is level it off. Wow. But you see how you didn't get it all? We need to get a little bit more in there. So let's just add a little bit more. Now when you level it, come towards you. Now go back the other way. Okay, and now we need a piece of wax paper. Here, you're going to put it on the piece of wax paper. So cream of tartar is pretty expensive. We only use this in a couple of different uh, recipes. Here we go. Okay, you can't play with it though, Jake. Because you're going to you're gonna lose all the ends. And our cookies aren't going to come out. So who can we maybe give this cookie that we're making to in like two nights? Who's coming to town? 
Santa's coming to town, right? I'm going to give him it and hot chocolate. And hot chocolate you want to leave him? Yeah. Alright, and then we have a very, and very, very small good. amount of salt. Now, salt, I don't even have an eighth of a teaspoon, but we have a quarter of a teaspoon, so an eighth is actually half of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this by eye, and we can do this in class, too. So can you hold that for Mommy or Mrs. Sauer? You could even just do a pinch if you want, but by eye, I'm going to do about half. Do you think that's half of that? No. Nope. A little bit more? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, now pop that on there. And then we're going to see if we've measured out all the ingredients. That's basically everything. So we have a half cup of margarine, which is one sip, three quarters of a cup of sugar, correct, one egg, craft, one and a quarter cups, plus three tablespoons, sifted, perfect. Sip first, then lightly spoon and level off. A half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cream of tartar, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. We're good? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're going to go with our directions. So it says in a large bowl, I'm going to do the large bowl, and you're going to do the medium bowl. You want to do the medium bowl, and I do the large bowl. I do the large I'm bowl, and you do the medium bowl. Okay, so in a medium bowl, you're going to combine. So in school, one person should be doing direction number one and one person should be doing direction number two. So in a large bowl, it says mix together the margarine, the sugar, and the egg or until butter. spoon, or butter. I wanna spoon. I'm gonna put it in, whoops. And you're doing the large, right? Are you I doing said it? medium. You wanna do the medium one? So you're just doing the flour, the sugar. You're doing the flour, the baking soda, the cream, the tartar, and the salt, and I'm gonna do the butter. Okay, so where is my wooden spoon? Uh-oh. Where's my wooden spoon? Actually, I have it over in the bag that I for school. Maybe we should okay. use this. Let me go get the spoon. There's the wooden spoon. Oh, that'll work, but I don't like that one. Put that one back. Put that one back, please. Gee, <gasps> salad. Put that back. Okay, I'm gonna do the margarine. The sugar and the egg. Just wait a second, and then you're going to put the other stuff in a bowl. And I'm going to mix it together until it's nice and smooth. And you're going to put the flour. So you're just going to stir this together lightly, Jake, because if you do it a lot, you're going to lose everything, okay? So what uses so, this out of this? That's what I thought. You Can you just wait? Can you leave that there in front of me, please? Put that back. Bring this back. This. All the dry ingredients except your sugar. Okay, I'm gonna have to help you then. No, I want to do this. this. I know you want to do it, but I have to get it started. So what I want you to do is just take this spoon very slowly, stir it, or it'll go all over the place. And I'm just gonna get this started. So I'm gonna make sure in class that the butter or margarine that we're using is already nice and soft, so it'll cream together really, really well. All right. If it's too hard, it's going to be hard for you guys to do this um, at school. If you're at home, you can use an electric mixer or a hand mixer. It would make it much easier. But okay, at school, okay. your hand is the mixer. Okay, so we're going to switch gears. Yeah, your arm. You're using the wooden spoon. So what you need to do is get this all creamed together. Okay, so what I did earlier is I already made a batch of the dough. Let me just get that in there. So I can show you both days. Because with this dough, it does have to be chilled. It is pretty sticky uh, after making it. So every cookie recipe we do in school will be a two-day recipe. You'll make the dough one day, and then the next day you'll come in and bake, eat, and taste them the second day. Are we going to eat them today? Uh, we can if you want. I do. You're going to try a snickerdoodle? Because mm -hmm. Jake usually doesn't eat cookies that are made from scratch. He likes soft cookies. Right? He likes Oreos, right? Watching myself. He's watching himself stir. We're gonna look, can I just check that? Because I don't want to run out of so what you wanna do. Now we also forgot what did mommy also forget? Or Mrs. Sauer also forget. The rubber scraper. Right, because I like to use the rubber scraper at this point. So I think we're actually good. So now the next direction says to add, stir the flour mixture into the cream mixture. You're gonna do that, but again, you gotta go really slow or else this flour is gonna go all over the place. Do it slow, really slow. Can I just get it started? And then let me just get 
So again, I like to go around the side. So this is going to take some muscle too. So what I tell the kids in school is to kind of scrape it together. You, you want me to do it? Well, I'm just going to get you started. And then they say, oh, it's not coming together. Well, again, just keep doing it nice and slow. Here, why don't you do it a minute? I'm going to move some of this stuff away. Because we're going to make the cookies and bacon too. I'm just going to get rid of some of this. Show them how to roll them out properly. So this is going to take some muscle. You're going to scrape. If I had a rubber scraper, we would be scraping the side of the bowl. Just be careful. This doesn't come up in your face. And it should actually come right around the side of the bowl as you mix. So let me let me let me try it again. So when I say rake it, it's so kind of like you rake the leaves with Daddy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get all this. See how it all came together? Like a nice kind of looks like sugar cookie dough too, right? Mm -hmm. I wanna but make this them. is I know you want to make them. So Jake wants to make the sugar cookie the Santa. recipe too. Okay, so you see how all the dough. Is coming off the side of the bowl. Don't put those lights on because it's going to burn. So this is basically done. So in school, what you're going to do, you're not going to take it in your hands. It's sticky. What you're going to do is you're just going to take your wooden spoon. If you have your rubber scraper, I'm going to actually just use my leveler and use that to get it all off. And my assistant, Jake, can you go in our refrigerator and get the dough that's already made? So this has to chill. You can probably add a little bit of flour, but we don't want to toughen up the cookies. I always like to chill it. Today? Okay, so we just finished the dough. We ran out of storage. I'm hoping <laughs> we're going to have enough room to continue with our demonstration. So this is the end of day one. All right, but we just took some dough out of the refrigerator. Here's the dough. You want going. to see me throw it in the air? Well, you see you throw you in the air. Are you serious, Come on. No, Jake, stand up. Come on, you need to help me. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take little pieces of the dough. It's going to be cold because it was in the fridge. And you want it the shape of a walnut or the size of a gumball. Okay, so you're going to take a portion of the dough. So it's a molded cookie because you roll it into the shape of a, a gumball, uh, a walnut, big? way too big. So this is this? your demo. Okay, so we're going to see and then you're going to roll it. So I tend to do a demo cookie in school. That's the size, right? But before you put it on the tray, you're going to put it in the cinnamon and sugar mixture. So the one thing you really have, yeah, perfect. We want to be careful about doing in school is when you put these in the oven, they can roll right off, all right? So you have to be very, very careful. Russia cookies are going to roll right off of the floor. So cookies are going to spread a little bit too, Jake. So you can't have them as close as you just put that. So we're going to put three across and then four down. All right, we're going to keep rolling. Remember, you want it the same size, so look at that. Roll, 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 roll. So see how I roll it? Roll it in the palm of my hand. And everybody can do this in class, so then there's time, because you're going to see it's actually going to take a full period for these cookies, for you to roll them out, to bake them, and then for them to come out of the oven, and then you get to taste them before you go home. You could eat them in class, yeah. or you could take them home with you and share them with your family. Mm, I want to they smell good, them. right? I want the cookie dough. You can't eat the cookie dough. Because mm -hmm. it's got raw egg, right? Right. All right, so good. Remember, you want to look at the demo cookie. They look like they're all pretty good sizes. I keep looking um, at my phone. It looks like I got a text message. From um, Bubble. Bubble. Who is Bubble? Uh, Kara. <laughs> Aunt Kara. So he calls my sister Bubble. That's a long story, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Why we call her Bubble? Oh, do you remember why we call her Bubble? No. <laughs> well, at least she's part of our video now, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she used to like bubbles all the time. Yeah. All right, so she's doing bubbles. Like this. Good. Good. The big boy. So we're gonna do three more on this cookie sheet, One, two, and then three. I think I'm gonna stop the video.
today. Okay, no, so we just ran out of storage again for the third time, deleted a few things. So we got all, we got one tray of cookies rolled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them in the oven. We're gonna go about five, six minutes, and then we're gonna switch and turn. I'm gonna stop the video and we're gonna come back. We're gonna roll the other tray and put them in the oven at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll, we'll show them when they come back out. All right, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna stop the video. Thank you for watching. We're not done yet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so quickly. Edda. <laughs> so quickly, I want to show. Edda, you. boys and girls. Edda. I thought we sent you in the bedroom. Ow. Okay, so when we're in school. Edda. <laughs> okay, so I have to show you, Jake. Move out of the way, please. At when you, roll, when you roll your second batch of cookies, you may have a few extra cookies, and you're going to say, well, where do I place them? You're going to talk to me. Jake, stop it. You're going you're gonna to place them in between these other cookies here. So I ran out of storage three times. Jake, four. Four times. Okay. And we're going to go like this. So now we're going to pop them in the oven, and then we're going to show you what they look like uh, when they come out. <laughs> All right, so tell them what's happening. The timer's going the off. The timer is going back for the oven. Just trying to tell you that you're almost done. Ah. Rudolph, George Washington, Edda. Oh my god. They look no, so touch. Good. Okay, so they're coming out of the oven. And you have to remember in school, too, you're not going to touch them. They are going to continue to bake on the cookie sheet. You want these cookies. To turn off my like this, the bin like okay. this. To stay nice and soft. So they're going to continue to cook for about one to two minutes. If I try to transfer them right now, they're probably going to fall apart while transferring them. Okay, so you always want to remember to have an oven mitt on. For me, my left hand, because when I go to take them off, the tray may move. All right? I'm going to give it a couple more seconds. Are you going to try one, Jake? Um, it's a cinnamon sugar cookie. They're really, really good, but they're yeah. probably, oh, they're yes, hot. They're, they're okay, hot. they're hot. Well, that one I ended up hitting, I think, with my oven mitt. And that tends to happen in school a lot, too. Just be careful. You want to make sure you don't burn yourself. So if you hit one of the cookies, you hit one of the cookies. It doesn't matter what they look like. It's what they taste like, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take spatula. Spatula. Can I do one? I have a nice, simple spatula here. Can this works one. pretty good. But you don't, you're going to, you have to hold, you have to hold. You have to, no, no, no. I'll hold this. I can't put this here because this is wax paper. It's going to melt. They should come right off from all that butter too. You can continue to do it. I have to bring it closer to you. Got to get right up from underneath it. We just have to watch our time because we're going to run out of storage again. So, like I said, when we went over safety and sanitation, one of the biggest things people do is they tend to burn themselves, especially when we make cookies. Uh oh, here comes Daddy. Here he comes, Daddy. We're almost Come done. Come on, let's Daddy. go. Would you, what, would you like to taste one of the cookies, Daddy? I don't want to get on film. I don't want to. Watch what you say, please. Hello, mate. <laughs> oh, Rudolph. Yeah, I'll take one of these. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you. Okay. 